All right, it's just working. Weird light. Uh, uh, anyway, good morning. <laughs> yeah, um, time to do a little uh, flip through. Anyone here yet? Good morning. Say hi if you're here. No, right now nobody here. Anyway, I'm gonna start with nobody here. I have this fucking song stuck in my head. Which is... Right here. She's like the wind. <laughs> Dirty dancing. Anyway, uh, we're looking into Imagine FX number 199. I see my chat window stuff works. Let me change it a bit. All right. This is way too bright. Let me check something. Holy crap, why is it so bright? My head looks absolutely white. Anyway. Imagine effects. We're going to do a quick flip through and then I'm going to see if there are any articles worth reading. And my working day starts early today. I have a call with my friend Justin. And uh, we're going to talk probably about the current situation with what's been going on. Oh, wait. I have to do something really fast. I need to start thinking about this more often. No, this is wrong. So this gets this link. And okay. There you go. <laughs> it works. Okay. Yeah, I, I figured out I could add the um the live stream chat here. And that is great. Okay, let's do it. You got some cool stuff here. How artists can be burnout. I'm definitely gonna read that. For sure. Wow, Jude Smith. Artist of the year. Alright. Julia. Julia Metzger. Julia Orville. Did I say right? Orville, Orville, or Orville, probably Orville, probably. Sacrinoxia. Tiny one. Sarah Mills. Cheers, Sarah. Dorothea Wood Bush. How can artists beat burnout? That's gonna we we're gonna read this later. Let's just see what this copy has in here. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing it like that. Uh, and from now on, so we got first gonna flip through the entire thing, and if anyone wants to stay and read the article with me, let me check that out. A day in the life of Michael Lewandi. I want to create a community of artists that can work on projects together and give them a voice. You definitely succeeded in that. Liana He. Keeping a work-life balance to stay inspired in her art is crucial to this US artist. Apparently, hey Pravin, apparently my data is weird, so YouTube is showing you everything 
much, much later. I don't know why this is happening. Anyway. Beautiful. I feel most creative when I'm surrounded by things that I love. Art books. Art books. Wait a second, who do we have here? Yotham, Kali Matthews, Camilla Martina Emilia. Okay. Artist portfolio, Brittany Myers. That looks great. It's a job in the end of the day. It's not art for you, it's art for the project. Okay. There's a good reason why this, um, why people, why professionals keep saying that. It's like, um, it's healthy, you know? I almost always start with a reference board to help inspire the product. I was like, I'm going to go to work and make money learning instead of spending so much money learning. Yeah. Even if you start with just one page, at least that's something you can email to somebody and ask for feedback. Yeah, it's true. Benjamin. Yes, lovely. crazy like I think we have like a delay of a couple of minutes actually like when I see what I have on my OBS here and what I ha what's happening on YouTube that's much slower I guess that's what happens with the buffering anyway visual development artist Kunvik breaks down the process he uses when creating a key scene for the animated feature film Wish Dragon. Photoshop stuff. I never read out the Photoshop stuff. Paint dramatic keyframe art. Kind of muftij. Muftij? Muftij? I never know. But I do love his art. Yeah, the 200th edition streaming very soon. Oh, some cool names in there. Paul Bonner, even. Keikai Gotaki. All right. 15 tips to get a job in animation by Drew Hartel. Tap for team. Yes, that same sentiment applies to a graphic design day job, always for the project. It's good to just detach yourself from your work a bit more, because it makes you also more effective in getting better. Take yourself seriously, start a project, and really set a goal to get that thing made. It's a small industry, and being kind and helpful will only help you stay in it. We keep saying it's a small industry, but it's not that small anymore. Like, yeah, yeah, there are smaller industries by now. This is not the small industry anymore. Whenever I see that sentence, I'm like, yeah, is it though? Social media is a fantastic way to share your work and it can sprout all kinds of opportunities. That is true. It can also fuck you up. Quickly sketch a character design. Jackie Dru Druchko. seen have you seen the expanse i hope you did i mean by now you can see all the episodes since they're there you really should it's fucking amazing best tablets for animation arts i don't know if there's i mean get an ipad i don't know at least that's what I've, i'm being told just get an ipad 
The Art of Wolf Walkers. Cheers, Tom. Amazing book. Behind the scenes information. I should do a review. I have it. I have it there. The Disney Princess, a celebration of art and creativity. Art royalty. Disney's princesses have been princesses have been entertaining the public for over eighty years. This book examines the craft behind the films. Dibujante Nocturno, the art of uh, Fran Garcés. This is a book I don't have yet. Traditional artists. Eh? Inspirational advice from the best pro artists. The F Exposé. Christian Aurelio Tejada. Christian. Probably not Christian. Christian. Lydia Cambon. Capture Autumn in Watercolors. Yeah, not small anymore. We're in the golden age of animation and TV. Haven't seen Expanse. Well, yeah, you definitely should see it. It's probably the best science fiction show since, I'm going to say, um, Battlestar Galactica, the reboot. There have been other good shows. It's true. It's it's fine. But Battlestar Galactica is the special place in my heart where I would, because I was telling my wife to watch it, and she's always like um, a bit weird about science fiction because it's not believable enough for her. But we watched Battlestar Galactica of all shows, and she was very very hooked. So that it makes it in my book very good. If my wife watches it, it must be good. And yeah, The Expanse, she hasn't watched yet, but I think I will re-watch soon and watch it with her. First Impressions, Amanda McFarlane. While creating a character, you're on the hunt to find out who you're drawing. Oh yeah, and that's it. I mean, we said we're gonna watch, we're gonna read an article together, so let's do that. We're gonna read about art vlog. No, Burnout. It's Burnout. It's a um, topic that is very dear to me, to my heart. All right. How artists can beat burnout under pressure. Being an artist isn't always easy. Leading creatives tell Tom May their tips for when stress becomes overwhelming. I have to lift it up a bit. There's a lot of delay. All right. That works. You love making art, but one day you wake up and you just can't. What's happening? Burnout isn't just a throwaway catchphrase. It's a real condition, says Dr. Lydia. Dr. Lydia. Uh, Linda, sorry. Dr. Linda Shaw. Uh, neuroscientist, business psychologist, and change specialist. Change spe specialist? Okay. It can be caused by periods of additional anxiety or pressure, difficulty separating work and personal life or work-life balance. That's out of kilter, she explains. Another word I learned. Kilter. Working too many hours, spreading yourself too thin, and especially at the moment facing pressures of an uncertain job market, will all contribute. This is probably happening right now to a lot of people, right? I'd like to have a significant other who likes the same stuff you do. My other half needs giant robots and either TV phones. <laughs> Feeling burnout can influence every aspect of your life, from your work to relationships, to your physical and mental health, and can leave you feeling you have very little left to give. In medical terms, burnout relates to the release of cortisol, a stress hormone from the adre adrenal glands. We need the right amount of cortisol to survive, says Dr. Shaw, but cortisol can become toxic if allowed to continue for long. Persistent and, over and overreaction of these stress systems can be detrimental to our health. Anyone can suffer burnout, but Domarin Fox, a London-based art director, production designer, and visual development artist, believes that creatives are especially prone to it. Whether it's working for yourself or someone else, our creativity is often drawn from our personal space. Yep. She points out. 
and it can become incredibly taxing to continuously pull from this source day after day, always thinking of. While some people switch off the moment they leave the workplace, being an artist is more a state of being. As Alex Baddows, a British, hey Alex, British 3D artist working in the video games industry notes. With anything that's a career and not just a 9 to 5 job, the boundaries are far more grey. In addition, direct comparison to your peers can lead us to push ourselves further than we have the capacity to maintain. So how can you avoid burnout? Deadlines are deadlines and it's impossible to remove all the stress from your working life. But you can find better ways of dealing with it, believes Domarine. I suffered burnout when I held supervising and art direction roles on numerous projects for four years straight at the time and neglected taking any breaks or holidays, the artist reveals. I developed bad work habit too, unnecessary overtime and talking about work after work hours to name a couple. As a result, my mental and physical health began to decline. Physical toll. Her wake-up call, she says, came when she was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, <clears throat> a condition where pain occurs throughout the body. After that, I planned my finances and took a six-month hiatus, she says. I didn't draw for myself during that time either, and it was a bliss. This was the year I got into gardening. I realized I had been putting 100% into career advancement, but 0% into personal development, health, or just living a life. I learned the importance of listening to your body and mind, like drinking tea. No, but for real, if any of you have been watching my channel, then you've seen the Cafe podcast and uh, the discussion I had about my burnout and, and my work-life balance and everybody who shared that with me, all these professionals talking about it. Um, do it. Look into it. It's worth it. It's great to be passionate about your work, but you can't let that passion overtake everything else, adds Alex. Yes, you need to make sacrifices, but some things are more important. So, for example, the deadline for a project takes priority over a crazy sock day at school. But putting some extra hours into personal development is definitely not more important than your mother's birthday. This means, among other things, not overcommitting yourself, which can be particularly tough in the... <clears throat> early stages of your career. For me, taking on too much work led to burnout because of how many deadlines I had met, sometimes even sacrificing some deadlines for others, recalls Miguel. Oh, why? How do I say that name? Miguel Icasiano, I hope. A concept and character artist based in Quezon City, Philippines. This taught me to be more measured with time management <clears throat> because it takes time to create pieces and it becomes difficult to create quality work if you work, take on too many projects at once. Learn to say no, yes. <laughs> learn to say no, yes. No, but really learn to say no. That's really important. When personal priorities clash with the demands of work or education, Doreen advises a policy of full honesty. After my hiatus, I vowed only to do overtime when really necessary and to give realistic estimates on delivering work, she remembers. I'm fortunate to be working with a compassionate team, so I'm completely transparent with them about my physical and mental struggles. I've also learned when to say no and to speak out against unhealthy work practices. Having a support group can make all of this easier, yes, Alex. <clears throat> I have a group of artist friends who are like to like brothers to me, she says. We talk nearly every day, we joke, we argue, we critique each other's work, and I talk to them about my problems, big or small, he says. Trusted friends can do more for your long-term career, mental health, than any tutorial, of course. It's also about finding work that brings you joy, believes Belfast-based comic artist BJ Holden. Sorry. <coughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Well, eventually at least. <clears throat> Certainly at the early part of your career, you take on work that you don't have passion for, he says. And sometimes the excitement of getting paid will power you through. But as you get older, you start to know yourself and your work better. You figure out what are the projects that fire you up. And if you're lucky, those will be the ones you're offered. There are things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis too. First, don't complain, uh, compare. Compare yourself too much to other artists. Yes, please don't. Says Jill Becker, also known as Paintix, Paintixier. Okay. Um, a digital illustrator based in Virginia, US. Everyone, everyone's artistic journey is different. It's just one of the things I have had to come to terms with. Also, take breaks. I'd highly recommend doing something else non-art related. I walk around the track for an hour, play video games, read or binge watch shows on Hulu. When I'll be, then I'll be back to work with new fresh ideas. That's it. That's the burnout. What do we have here? Industry Insight, PJ Holden. The 2080 artist offers his tips for dealing with burnout. All right, let's do this. How do you avoid falling into the burnout zone? When a page is edging me close to frustration or possibly burnout, I try and turn my approach upside down. Either I'll go back to first principles, thinking how to how do I draw heads, for example, or I'll redesign the layout that's the foundation for the page. What happens if instead of doing panel one as a white panel, I draw it as a tall panel? And if I get really stuck, I'll set a Pomodoro timer, a simple 25-minute timer that you can use for task management, and then I'll try to forget all the complexities and just draw. For all of those, those of you who don't know, Pomodoro, the Pomodoro, Pomodoro principle is essentially working with like a, a cooking time clock that you just like a little, little timer for the kitchen. Uh, Pomodoro because they're usually tomatoes or eggs in Germany. Um, that's why we say Ayatmu, egg clock. Um, I think. And um, that way you can actually manage your time a bit better. You can actually be like, okay, I'm going to work 20 minutes, then I'm going to take a 10 minute break, or however long you want. And <clears throat> I used it in the beginning to get out of my um, my burnout and to fix my work-life balance, because that meant to me I had to take a break. And even if I didn't do anything, at least I stood up and went away from my desk and just sat somewhere else. That makes a huge difference. Do you ever overload yourself with work? Freelancers break into hives when turning work down, down uh, turning down work yes so yes i've definitely taken on too much in the past but i've usually risen to the occasion and if the work is fun then burnout is rarely a problem the biggest difficulty is taking on work that i know i won't enjoy simply because it's offered and i'm a freelancer i've tried to get better at saying no to projects that i don't feel i'll get a big kick out of very good what are your tips for avoiding burnout? Know when your deadlines are, know how much work you can do, and it should be fairly simple to do the math. Right now, we are in the middle of a global pandemic, so yeah, again, it's an old issue. Uh, but keep your editor, I mean, we're still in the pandemic, anyway. But keep your editor in the loop. They'll be understanding. Learn to say no to projects that don't fire you up, and try and get outdoors a bit of fresh air, air work wonders all right and that's it um there's so much more to say about burnout but i have my my call coming up in five minutes what i wanted to add to this is that um always reach out for help like if you are stuck somewhere and unhappy please just i mean even if you come to my discord and we chat about it in the safe space channel uh it's a great place to to discuss things um I think it's really important that people just keep talking with each other. The worst thing you can do is just, you know, like stay in your lane, stay focused and bury everything down here where it just festers and gets worse and it's shit. So 
So yeah. Um, all the best to you. Thanks for everyone watching. Thanks for my patrons uh, supporting me. Um, I really need to get this LA haul doing. I think I'm gonna actually record the video today. So at least I have that done. It's gonna be a long video. Uh, or I'm gonna stream. I'm not gonna stream. I think if I'm gonna stream, I'm gonna put this away for too long. So I think I'm just gonna record it. Anyway, have a great day everyone. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye-bye.